Happy day. My name is Moses. I'm from Equitiafia. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the health docket, uh, Dr. Anthony, and in absentia, Dr. Beatrice, for giving us this opportunity to just have a small presentation on the health nugget session. So today we are basically talking about uh, mental health, and I hope uh, you will enjoy. In case of any questions, we are available. We will leave our contacts, and you can get in touch with us. So my colleague, uh, Shem, the councillor, will be doing the presentation. So I hope you'll enjoy. Thank you so much, and welcome. Good morning, church. Happy Sabbath. OK. Thank you very much for inviting us today for this mental health talk. Today we are going to talk about uh, our mental health and how it impacts in our lives. So mental health normally deals with the mind. And the mind deals with our feelings and our thoughts. And our feelings and our thoughts reflect on our actions. So. Our mind is like a bucket. When you have a bucket, there's an inlet only. And when there are leakages in the bucket, most of us are not happy. Because it means that whatever you put into the bucket will come out in ways that you don't want them to come out. But in mental health, a leaky bucket is a good bucket. Because what we put into our minds normally comes through our eyes and our ears. And so when we put negative thoughts into our minds, it manifests in very different ways. So today I'm going to give a good perspective on how we can manage our mental health through inlets and outlets. So in our day-to-day -day living, we have a lot of stressors in our lives. For example, people who go to work have uh, targets to meet, company targets to meet. Our family members have family responsibilities to meet. And also, uh, when we look at our media, our social media, TV, there are uh, a lot of uncontrollable circumstances that we cannot, uh, that can affect our mental health. So, to to be able to handle all these uh, stressors in our lives, we have to have an outlet. And our outlets mainly are our family members, our friends. Uh, sometimes the hobbies that we undertake can help us to be able to handle all these stressors in our lives. So stress is like water, which can never stop flowing. The pressure might reduce, but it will never stop. So how do we know that we are undergoing a lot of stress? It manifests in different ways. For example, you might be having uh, unending migraines or headaches. You might be violent physically and verbally. You can have uh, insomnia. Insomnia is your sleeping habits are not good, so you can't sleep well. Or hyperinsomnia, meaning that you sleep a lot during the day. Also, it can lead us to have uh, irritability and uh, engage in harmful, harmful practices like drug abuse, self-harm, and addictive behaviors like pornography and gambling. So those are the symptoms that you are undergoing a lot of, a lot of uh, mental health uh, stress. So 
how, how does it escalate? So what happens when you have a lot of stress, it escalates to addiction. Addiction like drug addiction, gambling, and uh, maybe you scroll a lot on your phone, social media, and this uh, is normally witnessed by people who seclude themselves. Seclusion is also a sign that you're not doing well mentally. So it leads to uh, physical illnesses like hypertension and stroke. And finally, what happens when someone doesn't have an outlet is they will commit suicide. So what do you do to ensure that the water does not overflow? What do you do to keep your mental health in check despite all this pressure? You need to have an outlet. That's why I started with the bucket, the leaky bucket mentality. So what are our outlets? The techniques that you can use to manage these stresses in life are by going to a counselor, a professional counselor. And uh, counseling is normally advised to people who have exhausted all their outlets because uh, sometimes people cannot understand why you, are, you have all these thoughts. And our thoughts mainly come from lack of or inadequate confidence because you have experienced a lot of failures in your life or maybe you are undergoing a tough time. Maybe you have lost someone. Maybe you have divorced. Maybe you have been posted in another place. That is change. So it can make us to process things in a different way. And when we talk about processing things, some things are easy for someone to process. Like, it's easy for you to process having a change of location in your job, but it cannot be easy to process losing a family member or losing a loved one. So a counselor will take you through all those steps of how you can cope with the tough situations in your life. You can also do some physical exercises which are known to increase our feeling good hormones like endorphins. Crying also helps when you're undergoing through tough times. Listening to music, whichever music that you listen to that makes you feel good. Spending time with your pets. Those people who have pets can attest that pets give you unconditional love, except maybe if you have not fed it. And you can spend time in nature. Sometimes we experience stress because you're not getting enough time outside. Maybe you are spending a lot of time indoors, and as we know, the sun is a very good uh, antidepressant because it makes us to release some hormones that help us in our thinking and also help our bodies. So with all the stresses and challenges of life, the best thing you can do for yourself is to take care of yourself. So through the outlets, through venting, talking to people, especially when you're undergoing tough times, it's good to, to talk to people. Don't seclude yourself. Don't feel as if everyone is judging you because uh, you might think that the person that you're going to talk to doesn't have their own problems, but everyone has their own problems and everyone is willing to listen and to help you when you're undergoing a tough time especially if they have experience in it. And also sometimes someone doesn't have an, any experience in, in, in your problem, but just having a listening ear can help you.
to, to be able to get out those thoughts that are in your mind. You know, they say that we suffer more in our mind than in reality, which is true. You should also accept that the things that are happening to you are happening to you because you are a human being. It's not that you are unlucky or you feel that you have been maybe cast by someone. No. Life has, uh, has ups and downs. So you should accept when things are good and also accept when things are bad because that is what balance is all about. If, say for example, the sun was only shining for 24 hours, it will not be good for our health. Same applies to, to everything that happens to us in life. There are good days and there are bad days. Also, don't compare your situation to someone because you never know what happens behind closed doors or in their minds or in their lives. Also, our thoughts and actions influence our feelings. So, always strive to have uh, positive thoughts in your life. And uh, when you feel that you have these negative thoughts coming, just know how to manage them. But if you feel that you are overwhelmed, you have talked to everyone and you feel that people are not understanding you, it's the best time to consider going for therapy or counseling services to help you manage these thoughts. And uh, therapists are trained to get to the root cause of your thoughts or your problems and also to develop coping strategies in life. People think that therapy is about giving advice. It's not advice giving, it's treatment. It's a treatment plan. And uh, a therapy treatment plan should normally take between five to 15 sessions. So with all that, I want to say thank you very much for giving me a listening ear and for inviting us and also strive to take care of your mental health because it, it encompasses everything in our lives. If your mental health is not good, it will be seen in your physical health, it will be seen in your social health, and also in your spiritual health. So with that, I want to say thank you. We have these services in our Equity Afia branch Gong Road branch in Kizim Towers, first floor, and our number is 0765 000 001. I'll repeat 0765 000 001. Thank you.